Hi, in this video I'm gonna take a look at the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XT5 mesh system. First I'm gonna set it up, then put it to the test and finally share with you my thoughts after using it for a couple of weeks. The Zen Wi-Fi XT5 mesh system consists of three Wi-Fi 6 dual band routers that can join together to form an AI mesh network. Each one is equipped with a 1.7 GHz quad-core processor and 512 MB of RAM. There are two Ethernet ports on each unit, one WAN and one LAN. They're surprisingly small, I can easily fit two of them in my hand. Or all three can fit on a single ASUS GTAX E11000 with room to spare. This is great because they don't take up much space and can be easily placed anywhere. Additionally, they're wall mountable too which adds to their versatility. Setting up the ASUS AI mesh system is easy and the XT5 is no exception. I just need to make sure I have prepared everything first. I mean I have downloaded the ASUS router app on my phone, powered on all the nodes which are not that far from each other and connected the one that I want to use as the main router directly to the internet. Now as a good network design practice, it is best to keep the router in the middle and the nodes on the sides, especially if I'm planning to use wireless backhaul rather than wired backhaul. This approach helps minimize the number of hops between the clients and the main router, which is good. And if you want to know why, then definitely check out that video, which has very good information on how to improve your mesh network. When the LED lights of all the nodes turn blue, it indicates that they're now ready for setup. So on my phone and the ASUS router app, I will set up a new router and then add the main router to the app. This can be done by either scanning the QR code located on the bottom of the router or selecting it manually here. By doing this, the phone will connect to the router and allow me to set it up. At this point, I will select the Wi-Fi name and password for the new router. Since this is a dual band router, I have the option to choose two separate Wi-Fi names and passwords if I want. Or I can simply use the same name and password for both of them. I have a dedicated video that talks about both options along with their possible advantages and disadvantages. So if you are interested, then feel free to check it out. Next, I'm going to select an admin username and password. This login information will be used every time I need to access the mesh systems configuration page. So I will make sure to choose a secure password. After that, the nodes will join the mesh network, which should take a few minutes. And right now, as you can see, the AI mesh system is up and running. Usually at this point, I would try to upgrade the firmware of all the nodes. However, I checked and found that they already have the latest version. So there's no need to do that right now. I have said it many times in my previous videos that the AI mesh system was not very stable when it first came out. But I guess things started to change after the release of the AI mesh 2.0 which I talked about it in that video. And right now, at least in my experience, it is very stable which is really good. 
Also keep in mind that you can use a computer to set up an ASUS router or mesh system and you don't necessarily have to use a smartphone if you are more comfortable with using a computer. And I talked about it in the knowledge base or KB section of this channel so I'm gonna link those videos in the video description in case you are interested. For the speed test, I'm going to use iPerf as always. The iPerf server is connected through a simulated internet connection to the WAN port of the AI Mesh router. And the iPerf client is connected through the 5 GHz Wi-Fi of the AI Mesh Node 2. We're going to try three different scenarios. First, when the AI Mesh router is in the center. Second, when the AI Mesh router is on the left. And the nodes are wirelessly daisy chained to each other. And finally, when the nodes are daisy chained through wireless connections. So when the router was placed in the middle, and by that I mean the nodes could directly connect to the router, I was able to reach 518 megabits per second. Considering the fact that this is a dual band mesh system and not a tri-band mesh system, so there is no dedicated band for the backhaul, reaching 518 megabits per second is still very good. However, I'm not very confident we can maintain the same speed if we move the router to the side and daisy chain the nodes wirelessly. So 350 megabits per second was the maximum speed I was able to achieve. Now let's change the backhaul from wireless to wired and see what happens. More than 900 megabits per second which is very good. For the Wi-Fi range test, I checked the signal strength of one of the XT5 devices in three places in my house and compared it with the RTAX86U which I've already tested before and know it has a great Wi-Fi range. Interestingly enough, the XT5 could perfectly catch up with the RTAX86U in the kitchen and even in the garage. It even performed slightly better. However, when I moved to the backyard and moved far away, the RTAX86U performed better. Okay, so let's quickly recap what happened in this video. The Zen Wi-Fi XT5 mesh system has small nodes. They're also wall mountable, which is definitely an advantage for people with limited space. Now, despite their compact size, each node is equipped with a powerful 1.7 GHz quad-core processor. That means they shouldn't easily get overloaded. I personally never had any overloading issues, even when I used only one node. I mean, the main router for all my devices. But when I use three, I'm actually automatically doing load balancing as well, which is good. That being said, I should also mention that each node only has one LAN port. So if I have some wired devices that need to be connected to the network, network then I'll probably need to get a switch for that. Now I should not forget that this is a dual band mesh system meaning that there is no dedicated backhaul. This doesn't make it a bad choice but it requires careful consideration when designing and setting up the mesh network. As shown in the speed test, for optimal performance, wired backhaul between the nodes is recommended. If running cables between the nodes is not possible, then the next best option is to make sure the nodes are directly connected to the main router. In terms of Wi-Fi range, and based on my test, each XT5 node showed good coverage. Yes, it wasn't as good as the RTAX 86U, but there are three nodes, and working together, they can provide good coverage for many scenarios. So overall, in my opinion, and based on my experience, the Zen Wi-Fi XT5 is suitable for average home internet users. However, if somebody needs to have wireless backhaul, and also high-speed and dependable mesh network for demanding applications like gaming then considering a tri-band mesh system could be a better option thank you very much for watching this video i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did share it if you think others might like it too and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you again and i will see you next time